Most plants live with fungi in their roots. And what the fungi do is they act as an extension of the root system of the plant. They find things that the plant needs, like nitrogen and phosphorus. They bring those things back to the plant, and in exchange, they get carbon. But what happens when you start raining nitrogen down from the atmosphere, which is what we're currently doing, especially in New England forests, is that the plant doesn't really need the fungus anymore. And in fact, what it does is it kicks the fungus out. One of the things that we're trying to understand in the lab is how a fungal species might move in response to changes that are happening in our world. And what happens to a forest when a group of fungi that have played a critical function for forest trees disappears? To learn more about the interrelationships between plants and fungi in the New England forests, Anne's team members examine the DNA of different soil fungi seeking the telltale signature of a cellulose digesting enzyme. My name is Jackie Hess and I'm a postdoc in Anne's lab. We're interested in the evolution of symbiosis of mycorrhizal fungi and for that we're looking at uh, different mycorrhizal and non-mycorrhizal fungi. What you see here is the gene we have reconstructed. So the fungi that form mycorrhizal root tips don't uh, appear to have the uh, cellulase degrading enzymes. Computers then become a tool searching for patterns in the large amounts of genetic data that we collect in the laboratory. My name is Primrose Boynton and I'm a graduate student in M. Pringle's lab. Our lab studies fungal ecology and I'm particularly interested in how fungi move across landscapes and how they move in between habitats. I'm using the pitcher plant Saracenia to study fungal colonization. Saracenia purpurea is a pitcher plant that lives in New England and has many organisms that live in its leaves. Among these are yeasts, and yeasts are a kind of fungus. And I'm asking how these yeasts disperse, how far they disperse, is there any diversity in the way they disperse? And I'm trying to relate these things together to explain why we have fungal diversity in, in, in habitats like pitcher plants. Fungi are an incredibly diverse group of organisms, and they play critical roles in our ecosystem. For some groups of fungi, the biodiversity hotspot is the temperate forest. So we need to preserve those temperate forests if we care about those small things that we can't necessarily see, but do play critical roles in our world.